One of the most important things to understand about genetic engineering is that it is really an attempt to say, listen, no matter how uh, unsustainable our technologies, we're not going to change the technology to fit the natural living systems. We're going to change living systems so they fit the technology. We all know how horrible factory farming is, and one of the problems they have with uh, egg-laying ch chickens with hens is they have a mothering instinct. They want to brood. And here you see one of the brain experiments, genetically engineering chickens, to take out the mothering instinct uh, from these brooding chickens so they won't brood anymore. They won't have the mothering instinct anymore, so they'll fit the factory farm system. This is uh, one of the chimera birds they're working with to take away the mothering instinct. So we don't change our factory farm system. We actually take the mothering instinct out of animals so that they will fit the technology. In the mid-80s, once again, a new, supposedly golden age dawned for scientists. Genetic technology appeared to be the key to subordinating the Earth and, in particular, its living creatures. All of a sudden, everything seemed possible. They experimented with chickens without feathers, sheep without pelts to alleviate work after slaughtering, with cows producing more milk, and goats making silk. Yet most of the experiments ended in failure. Available now on iTunes.